This week on Sport Fishing, we're fishing aboard the city of Long Beach. And we're gonna start off in an area offshore looking for sculpin and bottom fish. And later in the episode, hopefully we're gonna be along the beach looking for barracuda, bonita, you never know what to expect. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. All right. <laughs> I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Oh. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way.
scoping aboard the city of Long Beach. I'm starting to pick out some few legals now. Nice ones today. Is that legal or what? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll That's keep it. Ten. Another ten. The uh, green oh, one, ten. I think. To your left. So I'm fishing a double dropper loop with two bucktails, and we're out here in the 150 area where the city of uh, Long Beach, and fishing the double dropper loop rig, like I said. And I have a bucktail, regular bucktail, and I have an HD bucktail on. So let's see what happens. Should be sculpting. So we're going to start off out here try our luck at the sculpin and then hopefully later we'll head inside and see if we can find us some surface action. There's been reports of Barracuda around. We'll see. Oh, I got a double. Here we go. Two. Both bucktails. So here's, oh, here's a double on the bucktails. That's a regular bucktail there, the small one, and then the bigger fish here is the brand new HD model bucktail with the big hook. Thanks, Hink. Yep. All right, we're gonna take a little break from the action here aboard the city of Long Beach and go to the tackle box and show you the gear you need for this type of fishing. This week in the Tackle Box, I want to talk to you a little bit about what we're doing today. We're targeting sculpin, and sculpin are pretty easy to catch. You can just go with a single hook, strip a squid or a live bait, and go all the way down the bottom like with an 8-ounce sinker, and you'll catch fish. But to really target them and catch them really you know, nice and productive, I like to use is a double bucktail rig. Use two half-ounce or one-ounce B-52 bucktails, spread them far enough apart so that if you catch a big one on one, it's not covering the other, and you'll catch fish. Sculpin really, really like the bucktails, and what I like about the bucktails over a straight hook is that even if your bait comes off, that bucktail is gonna pulsate in the current, and the fish are gonna see that, and they're gonna come over and bite it. In that deeper water, there's no daylight, so any sort of motion, the fish key on it, and they'll come up and bite the bait. Now, if you wanna target one big sculpin, like for jackpot, Try a six ounce B-52 bucktail with the whole squid on it. Fish it right on the bottom, right on those rocks, and you'll get sculpin to come up and eat it. I like to fish the double bucktail rig to catch uh, the volume of fish. And then when I'm almost done with my limit, I'll switch over to the single bucktail, try to catch a big fish. As far as rods and reels, you can use a spinning rod if you want, but something like this works out really nice. A bass type reel, 400 series, 65 pound Spectra, 25 pound top shot. Don't need a lot of top shot, just big enough to tie your double dropper loop rig and it'll work out fine. These just make it nice and easy. You don't have to move the line back and forth and it works great. All right, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. <laughs> go. Got one on the bottom. Now I was surprised that they would bite this one. This is a really big bucktail, but the skipper says that there's been lots of red crabs around, so that's why I went with the red. 
It's a little sculpin, it's gonna be too short. But I'll go ahead and release this guy. Pretty instant, you just gotta get that bait right on the bottom, fishing a big hard bottom area. See the guys are also fishing bucktails too. Here comes another legal fish. It's on a different lure, right on the bottom. Let's see what I got here. Here we go. Got one. about as easy as it gets right now. This is barely legal, we gotta be 10 inches. So we're gonna let this guy go. Yeah. Here's two nice ones coming up right here. The big one got away. I got a double. These two look small. There you go. Got two small sculpin. It sounds like we're gonna make a little move right now. Skipper wants to go a little bit farther out, try for some other rockfish. So we're gonna move the boat right now. So stay tuned, we'll be right back with more action right here on Sport Fishing. Good on that chrome bucktail. Yes, chrome is producing. Yeah. Right now I'm just fishing double dropper loop rig. And it's just really simple rig to use for shallow water rock fishing, especially Sculpin. Sculpin really liked it a lot. Let's see what I got here. Fishing from the back row here. Here we go. Oh yeah, here's a legal one. Here we go. That's a B-52 Bucktail, the HD model, with a big hook and still able to catch these sculpin. They're so aggressive, they're hitting it. That's a nice fish there. All right, let's take a little break from the action here aboard the city of Long Beach and go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of these delicious sculpin we're catching today. This week in the galley, we're in Lakewood, California at Mama Sushi. It's a sushi place that I've been to a few times. Nice little restaurant, has a nice sushi bar. Standing next to me is a head chef here, Pat. Hey, Pat, thanks for having us over. Good morning, sir. And what do you have in store for us today? Oh, we're gonna make some uh, sashimi first. Start with like uh, tuna with blue cheese and some uh, wasabi yuzu sauce. 
cool. I've never had sashimi with blue cheese. So we're gonna start with the plate first. And what kind of tuna is this? It's a bluefin tuna, this one. Okay. So, okay. Now I'm gonna cut the sashimi way. Make that look so easy. <laughs> Now we have some blue cheese and what's the use of sauce. This we can get from the Asian market. It's not that hard for quite the, the ingredients. This item, yeah. Oh, you mix them together. Yeah, we're gonna mix together with the sauce. All right, Pat, I have to try this. This looks delicious. Yes, try it. With blue cheese. I never had blue cheese on sashimi before. Yes. <laughs> that is really delicious. Yes. Well, thank you very much, Pat. I've uh, had many meals with you in the past. <laughs> okay. I'm glad we got you on the TV show. Oh, okay. This is really nice. Yeah, remember, this is Mama Sushi in Lakewood, California. Really unique dish. Never thought of having sashimi with blue cheese. Comes off really good. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. right here this one is on the red b52 bucktail HD and this one's on the chrome bucktail nice Ooh, don't eat them. Good fish, huh? thank you one of the bigger ones of the day a little more excited. pretty steady bite on these in the city of Long Beach I just got bit again just got down there it's like every drop so if you're gonna go sculpin fishing, you have to really pay attention to the regulations. This is one of the fish that they often change it from year to year. And uh, like the last couple of years, it's had a season that you can't fish for them at all. So uh, they'll have months that you can't fish for them at all. So you have to pay attention to that. And the quantity limit, size limit right now, it's 10 inches. Sometimes that changes. So let's see what this one is. He hit pretty hard. Just fishing that B-52 bucktail. Right on the bottom, double dropper loop rig. Oh, he's on the bottom one. Looks like another legal. And you can see he bit it really hard. Hook went all the way through there. That's a big, that's a big hook. That's an eight-aught hook that we use for yellowtail and white sea bass fishing. And the sculpin just devoured it. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
What are you fishing with? Uh, B52. B52 buckshot? Yeah, chrome, red, and white. It's pretty instant here. All you gotta do is get your bait to the bottom, and there's sculpting everywhere. Here comes another one on that side. We both have some fish coming up. Here comes his. He's got a double, one on each bucktail. The only challenge is fishing through them to go through all these little fish to try to get a bigger ones. And part of that is that the boats have been fishing this area so long for so many months that they pick through a lot of the bigger fish. So we have to work a little bit harder to get those legal size sculpting. Here comes mine. Another legal one, barely legal. Thanks. Again, just fishing the double dropper loop rig. That's a seal, not me. But this is what you want to catch. All right, we're going to take a little break from the action here for the city of Long Beach. And when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. For this week's tip of the week, I want to talk to you about how we cut all the sculpting today. It was all about using a strip of squid on a small hook or a B-52 bucktail, half ounce or one ounce model. And you put two of them together with an eight ounce sinker on the bottom, worked really good. There are just so many sculpting out here at the 150 area, it was a lot of fun. I want to thank the whole crew aboard the city of Long Beach. We had a lot of fun fishing with them today. I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing, and I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.